All right, I'm here with Joe Barrow, Mehmet Oz. Seven minutes, put it on the clock. It's our seven minute morning workout, right? You do it now, you get psyched up. Everyone's lean forward and stretch. Let your head loose, Ugh. like completely untethered, wigging towards the ground. Now, no, you only need seven minutes here for a reason because everybody has seven minutes in the morning. The real question is, are you willing to admit your life is so disorganized you can't make seven minutes for what I'm about to do? Now, Joy, bend your left knee and you're gonna feel a little tension in your right hip. Yep. yep. And now bend your right knee and you feel tension in the left hip. This is called the hippie pose because you go like this and like this, like a hippie. And you do that until that, oh, that tight hip area relaxes. It's where a lot of tension is stored. And in the morning when I first get up, I love opening up my hips, my hamstring, and my neck muscles. All right, now come straight up, oh, all the way to the sky. Reach skyward. You can arc back a little bit, but you don't have to do this. If you do arc back, make sure you tighten your bottom a little bit. Uh, you want to build those muscles anyway, but also prevents your back from taking too much strain. Then as you lean forward, grab space. Grab space. Don't collapse like you're a slinky. Grab space. Come all the way down and around uh, and touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, not a big deal. Touch your calves, your shins, your knees. Doesn't matter how low you go. People who are really loose, they're called losers, by the way. So it's not a competition here, all right? And then we're going to jump back into a plank. Now, I could keep you in a plank for a couple minutes, but we only have seven minutes, so we don't have enough time for that. So I like doing push-ups. You go down, and we'll, let's say we do 10. Now here's, I cheat a little bit, but in a bad way. I bring my right knee to my elbow, and then my left knee to my elbow. I call that showing off. No, but you want to do this because it forces <laughs> you to do a full push-up. Yeah, you, know, you can do all kinds of other crazy things, and if you don't want to do this elbow dancing maneuver, that's fine too. Are we at seven yet? I lost track. Seven? It's so much fun, I couldn't keep, <laughs> I lost myself in the joy, All right? And then one more at the other side. Okay, that's, let's call that 10. Now you arc up. When you arch up, if you're sore, stay on your knees. If you're not, come up on your feet. Either one's fine. What a beautiful arc you have. Try to get your Thank hips you. off the ground if you can, if you feel loose enough. And then gently tuck your nose to the ground, swipe it, and then come up into a downward facing dog. That was up dog we just did. We're gonna do a couple more. This basic sequence is called uh, uh, sun, uh, sun salutation. It's the foundation of a lot of yoga and the calisthenics just make it a little better. Now take your right foot to the ceiling, high as you can. If you really wanna open your hips up, you can arc back a little bit and roll open your right hip. Let your foot come across the midline. Feels great. Doesn't it? And you're getting your breath back from those push-ups, those brutal push-ups we just did. Now arc your foot through your hands and then come straight up. And I like to go from this into what's called warrior pose. Nicely done, Joy. Thank you, I'm a newbie. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Focus over your middle finger. Look, a lot of this exercise in the morning is to get you mentally ready for the day as well. So you're focusing on the middle finger, taking nice good deep breaths from your belly. Never forget the breath that centers you. And then after you've caught your breath, and you can wait as long as you want, arc back. So your left hand begins to go below your left knee. Do not put pressure on your left knee. Bend your right knee so it's a bit of a right angle. And arc back. Oh, you feel your lower back open all the way up. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Come back into the warrior pose, like you're gonna go to battle with somebody like this. And then I straighten my right leg. I go into a triangle pose. Oh, releasing my other side. Now again, your hand may be at your knee, your shin, your ankle, to the ground, it doesn't matter. Wherever you happen to be that morning is fine. Now by now you're saying, why did I start doing this? But then I hope you're thinking, you know what? This is not that bad and I'm, I'm about a third of the way through this darn thing, so maybe I'll stick with it. Just a third? Well, I don't know, we're probably about that far. I don't know. It's so much fun, I'm not keeping track, you know? Time flies when you're having fun, right? This is called airplane, lean forward. It actually opens up your hamstring. And then finally bring your foot and your head close to each other. You can wiggle your head if you want to loosen it up a little bit more. And then bring that foot back. And we're going to do back to those push-ups. The left side will be your focus this time. So start with your left knee coming up. And then the right side. And so just even to, if I'm doing the girl push-ups, can I do my leg? You can if you want, but you don't need to. This is, I'm okay. purposely asking you because Joy wanted to be the hard ask for it. She wants the more difficult exercises. I'm happy doing the girl version. <laughs> I'm super but happy. There, you can do anything in between what Joy is doing and what I'm doing. They're all fine. Let's do two more push-ups. And then one on the other side. 
Okay, now back to that arch we started before. You're gonna re recognize uh, this pose. Remember, your hips should be off the ground by now. You're relaxing your head back. You can even look back towards your feet if you want on both sides. Deep breath in. And then arch your way from the down dog. And this down dog allows you to really relax your head, swing it back and forth, your, your hips, your hamstrings are opening. Now your left foot goes to the ceiling this time, the opposite of what we did last time. Again, you should be recognizing all of this. Bring that foot between your hands, arch to the ceiling, and then rotate. Again, now we're swashbuckling with our left hand, warrior pose to the left side. Gentle, deep breaths in. Now as you do this, you're grabbing the ground. The inside of your muscles of your thighs should be pulling down. So if I were to push you like that, nothing happens. You're stuck to the ground. And you want that pose to, to allow you to hold down, then lean back. Again, your right hand is not putting pressure on your knee. Arc way back. Deep breath in. Then come forward to this pose of, of the warrior. Straighten your left knee. Triangle pose. Way down. Nice job, Joy. Try to keep. Oh, like as though you're against a hard wall. Your right hand goes forward into an airplane pose. So you're flying over your right leg and finally collapse down towards your left foot. And when you put your head down, oh, you feel heaven. And then for one little boost of energy, if you have time, swing around. Your time is almost done. It could be any form you want. I like to do jackknife push-up, pull-ups, or sit-ups rather, but whatever you want to do. And every morning, pick your own sit-up style. This is to get your core strong. And blow it out till the seven minutes are over. Does this work? More than enough. Any activity at all. The, per the point here is a, a high-intensity exercise activity for just seven minutes in the morning will change your life because you control your destiny. And all day long, you get to brag to everybody you know you did this <laughs> workout. All right, everybody, that's the seven with minutes. Dr. Oz. Yeah. I promise you seven minutes and we're there. Keep going with your sit-ups. Love you all. Seven minute workout in the morning, every Woo! morning. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.